This program contains adult language and situations which may be considered offensive to some viewers and or children, but more likely their parents. Oh boy, get the popcorn out. Get the friggin' popcorn out. Oh man, here comes the drama. Drama-rama. Okay. Now, I'm not here to harass, okay? I'm actually making popcorn right now. I want to say one thing right now, and that is I am not here to harass anybody, okay? What I'm doing is I'm simply calling out somebody that I believe is a fucking scumbag, and he's a... He, 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 what I what I what I found today just makes my blood boil. Okay. So what I what I what I saw today makes my fucking blood boil. And I want to talk about it. Why? Because because okay. Brian Butch Hewlin, okay? I'm sorry. You are a fucking scumbag. You are a low life. Anything that I've said so far, um, where I wanted to, like, fucking apologize, I'm a fucking scumbag as well. Listen, anything that I've said in the past, um, where I was like, where I tried to, you know, apologize to you. It's going out the window. I'm, I'm, I'm not using your kids uh, to, to, to fucking, um, to get at you. I'm going straight for the fucking throat. You are a fucking scumbag. You are a low life piece of shit. And I'll, t I'll explain why. Let me go get my popcorn real quick. Then I can explain why. You are a fucking piece of shit. You... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You need to be put in fucking jail. This is how bad this is. I, I hope all of your wolf friends and your family see this and, and see you for the fucking piece of shit that you are. I, I'm fucking pissed off right now. No fucking end. But you know what? I'm gonna be the I'm the I'm probably gonna be the bad guy once again. You know what? I don't care. So what the fuck is going on here? Well, I did a video earlier today, two two and a half hour video, um, where I needed some uh, some images uh, for uh, my video that I did earlier today. I'm gonna try to get it out by Wednesday before court. But I don't know. I really don't. But while I was looking for images, I was looking for... I mentioned... I mentioned butch lesbians, okay? Um, the first thing I thought of when I said... When I, when, when I needed the butch les... I just... Okay, I, I took a picture of you. And I put... I took a picture of, of Brian Hewlin. And, I, and I'm going to put it in there. When I say butch lesbians... A picture of Brian Hewlett will come up. Okay, I thought it was kind of funny, but whatever. So I had to go on his Facebook today to try to find a, a, like a really fucking, uh, you know, like mountain man picture of him. And um, this is what I see. This is what I found. 
Let me uh, let me try to find it on on YouTube again. And this made my blood boil so hard. I'm. I hope I hope it gets arrested over this. So we all know that he has two kids. Okay, he has two kids and. Hold on. He has two kids, and and they're they're both they both have. Um. They they both have problems. They both have. Um, the same disease, pretty much. Okay, we've all known that. And how the hell do you spell this now? <clears throat> Okay, so I hope that's it. So now the thing is, is that um, I admit that I back, you know, back in the couple years ago, like fifteen years ago. Nah. It was it was it wasn't that long ago. It was like it was like five years ago. So let me let me pause this. This is what I found on YouTube. About fifteen about not fifteen, I keep saying fifteen. I'm so fucking angry right now that I can't even say the right word. About five, six years ago I um I said something I shouldn't have to Brian Hewlin. I don't exactly know what I said. I don't even remember. It's been that long. I don't even remember. But I'm going to tell the story again. Pretty much the whole thing with Clint. Okay. Um, I, um, you know, I got into it with Clint. Then, all of a sudden, Brian comes out of nowhere and just starts... You know, Brian comes out of nowhere, starts attacking me on the keyboard, and uh, but I don't want you at my daughter's thing. Like we were supposed to have like a a benefit show. I believe it was at the Tonawanda Moose Lodge. It was supposed to raise money to um, for his kids or whatever. But whatever, he said I don't want you there. You're not welcome. Okay, whatever. You got bugging me and bugging me. I don't really want you. I don't want you. Okay, whatever. Shit. And you kept going on and on and on. Okay, whatever. I'm out. I won't show up. Jesus Christ. Like I said it's kind of, kind of sad though that. Kind of said that you'll you'll give up some money because I have a beef with Clint though you know money I'm supposed to go to your kids and he's like oh, 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 oh fuck you fuck I said no fuck you I said no I I, I think I said that one your kids wouldn't be like that had you not fucking taking care of them when when they were little you didn't fucking throw that kid in a mosh pit she wouldn't be like that I said something stupid like that. And, you know, it was, it was just me, you know, being the way I am, you know, fighting back and whatnot. It never works out for me. And he's fucking, he's fucking pissed off me. He's still fucking pissed off at me. But it's like, okay, whatever. Get over it. It's been six fucking years. Get the fuck over it, Brian. He claims he's a Christian, but he can't... He claims he's a Christian, but he, he can't fucking... He can't forgive. So... I saw this, and, um... 
a couple months ago, there was something on uh, YouTube, it's called Hewlin, Only Ashes Remain. And it's pretty much um, him in a death metal band. He's like the singer of a death metal band now. And, um, um, I was like, whatever. I, I said something like, you know, how, how much money, how much money and time could have, could have been used to, to help your kids that you, you used to fucking record this song? And it was done pretty good. It was a pretty good sounding song. You know, recorded at the Watchmen Studios. You know, uh, so. So, anyway, I found out he has a, two new songs out. And he has two new songs out. And, uh, oh my god, this is so fucking infuriating. They changed the name of the band from Hewlin to Barbaress. Okay, that has to be. First of all, I want credit for that for that for that band name. Cause I always I always say he was like a barbarian. I just said that as a joke, though. I was like, you 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 come out here like all like that. You got the fucking big beard. You look like a fucking Viking barbarian. Okay. So I call I called him the the I I I started calling him the barbarian. Okay. And. In a way, he kind of liked it, so I think he took the the name Barba the Barbarous thing, and he made it. He made his band name, so I get credit for that name. Brian, give me fucking credit for your for 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 fucking naming your band. You know, you know that's where you got it from. Okay, so. He has this one song out in particular that really gets to me. And I'm going to play it. It's called Follow the Buzzards. And I'm going to play it all the way through. And it has lyrics in it too. So here it goes. It's playing now. Yeah, it actually has a nice death metal for him, so I will give him that. Pretty fucking sick.
Alright. I'll link down below in the in the description the um the video for this song. Now in this video he mentions keyboard warriors. He mentions something about living in filth. <laughs> um, and coming around full circle or something like that. I really do believe that I really do believe that he's talking about me. Uh, and here's why. Okay. Um, ha, ha, would it Okay, so here's why I think he's talking about me. Okay. It's the whole keyboard warrior thing. Okay. Like it just seems so out of place in that in that whole song. Um just to throw in the Throw, throw in the phrase keyboard warrior, like somebody that, um, and the word trolls as well, like, okay. Or, not, it's not a song about trolls, like little fucking monsters or something, no. Puts in the word keyboard warrior, you know, talking about how, Karma's gonna hit you in the ass or whatever. It's about me. Okay, I'm fucking famous now. But there's something else I gotta mention. I wanna know, and here's the thing too. Those comments, the comments for this video are disabled. Why are they disabled? Are, are, are you afraid that I'm going to, like, rip you a new asshole on here? Are you afraid of that? No, I'll just make a video ripping you a new asshole over this. Now, not only does it call me troll and all that other shit, but it's pretty much a threat. It's a threat that... And no, he doesn't mention me by name, but we all know who we, who we're talking about. I'm not gonna go to the police over it. I'm not. I'm not like one of those people. You know who those people are. No, I'm not one of those people. But and the lyrics themselves, I'm not really fucking. I actually laughed at it. But there's something else we need we need to address here, and that is he, he's right. He's he, he's he has no job. Okay, Brian Hewlett has no job. According to him, he has no job. Okay, I the only job he has, from what I understand. Is he he does the doors at uh at stamps in, in Taiwan. So you know the two shows that they have there. I'm doubt I doubt he's gonna they pay him that much. I mean I guess they pay him a, a pretty good amount, but it's only it's only like two days a month really. And like he's he's always said that. Well, yeah, I have to quit my job because I, I need to be with my kids. Um, I have to be on call just in case, you know, one of them has a seizure or whatever the fuck. And because of that, I do congratulate the man for that. He is taking care of the kids, okay? However... He has no job, and I highly doubt that whatever they're paying him at stamps 
is going to, like, fucking, uh, 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 he, so he's going to these, these recording studios and recording really nice fucking music, you know, and he has no job and he has to take care of his kids. I would, what I want to know is, um, uh, how much money and time did he spend Writing, uh, writing, and recording this music that could have been spent with his kids. You know, trying to get the kids that their help. <coughs> you know, and uh, I actually talked to one of uh, Brian's friends. I'm not going to mention names, but I talked to one of his friends, and somebody told me that. Oh, he didn't spend a dime at uh, at, the, at the recording studio. Okay, that's fine. Instead, I guess what he did was, and I'm not I'm not accusing him of this, but this is what his friend told me. I'm not gonna mention names or anything. His friend told me that Brian went through the Make a Wish program that helps kids um, with, you know, like, like dying children, they get a wish and it's, it's a charity thing. So, because the kids, and this could be, this could be completely fucking made up too, but I don't know. It's either one or the other. Either he's using using the, the GoFundMe page to fund his own, you know, music career, or he's doing this. Shady bullshit. And if he's doing either one of those, he's a fucking scumbag for doing it. So, from what I understand with his friend, he said that, his, that, that Hewlin is... Taking advantage of the Make a Wish Foundation uh, by because the kids can't speak, so Brian was like, "Okay, I want my kids to do the Make a Wish Foundation, but since they can't speak, they can't say, oh, we want to go to Disney World or we want to, you know, go out on a nice dinner or something like that." So Brian was like, okay, okay, okay. My kid's wish is to watch me in a fucking metal band. Yeah, that's that's a scumbag move. And I'm going to call him out on it. Now, whether or not, because he, he says that the kids can't speak. Okay. So how the hell do, does make a wish work if if you're not if if your kids can't speak? Well, it it's ridiculous. Well, if they can't if they can't get the make a wish, then I guess I want the make a wish. That's a that's a fucking scumbag move right there. And even if even if what his friend said was a joke, I, you know, you got to think about it this way. How else is he getting the money to record these cool songs? How else? He has no job, okay, aside from the, what, two nights a, a month, maybe, at Stamps. And who knows, he could be, he could be paid, be paid like, Ten, you know, like ten grand a fucking month, um, at stamps and whatever, it works for him. But I mean, I don't think they're paying him that much. To maybe a couple hundred a night, you know, maybe two two nights a a month, because that's how many times a fucking show happens. Over there, like two nights a month, maybe. But he also has a GoFundMe page. 
where uh, <coughs> he has a excuse me I got that um I got that smallpox thing going on I got that you know mesothelioma going on but he has he has the he has the GoFundMe page up and running where he he pretty much he pretty much begs for money and I made a song like the first time I saw uh, this this song only ashes remain that was under the Hewlin name I made a song mocking it you have no money for or you have no money for you have money for booze but you don't have health care dues you 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 piece of shit what what are these I want to know what what what's I want to know if this GoFundMe page it's going it's supposed to it is supposed to be going to help your children I want to know how much of that is going to fund your fucking music career I want to know I want to know how much people are donating to you so that under under the premise that they're helping these two fucking kids that are in wheelchairs that are hooked up to God knows what I want to know how many how, how much money is going toward your fucking music career I think the public needs to know this you have you have all this money to be putting on shows for fucking Tony Lorenzo, which okay whatever he was a good guy, but you have no money to be ta you to be doing this. You claim you're broke. You have to beg people online for 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 fucking Christmas so that your kids can have a fucking Christmas. You have to beg people online on GoFundMe so that you can have you can have a fucking you can you you can get them the treatment that they need. And yet that's all I'm that's all I'm seeing is is oh yeah, smoke weed and I go to his shows and I'm watching you fucking drink at shows. You have you have you have no money to, to for, for for these kids. But you have money for, for to, to fucking smoke weed every day. You have money to, to fucking drink your ass off. You have money so, so to, to actually go to these metal shows. You have money to set up metal shows. You have money so that you can put on metal shows for Tony Lorenzo. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not mocking Tony. Tony was a fucking awesome man. Riff in peace, Tony Lorenzo. But you have no money to, to, to do this. You have no money to do this. And now you've got all kinds... Somehow you, you landed in so all kinds of money, and now you can record your own music at Watchman's Studio. And on top of that, you're recording music that, uh, that mocks me. You're using... You're using GoFundMe uh, money to make music to rip me a new asshole with music. Now I'm not saying that I'm not saying I'm against it. I'm all for ripping people a new asshole with music. You know this. You've heard my rock operas, okay? I have I have devoted entire albums to one per to rip it apart one fucking person Clint was a prime example that rock opera I I, I, I I think that even even if you're best friends with Clint everybody fucking loved that rock opera even fucking pa Patrick on hell Pahan he loved that fucking uh, rock opera. I mean, he came up to me the one time like, dude, that, that, that fucking rock opera that you made about Clint was fucking awesome. 
hey, whatever. <laughs> but you know how I made that rock opera, Brian? You know how I made that? You know how I recorded that? I recorded it in my living room, okay? And I'm not saying it's going to sound uh, uh, good. I didn't say it was it sounded awesome. I didn't mean I didn't say I didn't say it was going to be like top-notch quality. Okay? But it was it, it was it was to showcase what could be done in a in a living room. Okay? Um the, the the next one about barf in a living room again. The third one, uh what was that? I can't even keep track of my own rock operas anymore. The third one, what was that? Oh yeah, the 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 cover songs and then you got the 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 one uh with the uh, those regular songs. Then you got the third uh, the fifth one which is all about fucking baloney arm. Do you know where I recorded that? In my living room. I also recorded some at the library as well. So, here's the thing. I'm not mad. I'm not really mad that you're recording music about me. Fuck it. Write as many fucking songs as you want about me. I don't give a shit. Use my real name. You, you got flash pictures of me all over the screen. For all I care. What, I'm, what I have the problem with is that you're using money that you don't have. That, you're, that was supposed to be for helping your children. And you're using that money to fund your music career. That's what I have a problem with. That's what I have a problem with. I don't really know if the whole make a wish thing is true. Okay, I can't really, I can't really verify that. But if it is, I'm, I'm fucking ashamed of you. I, I'm, I'm sick into my stomach right now. And like I said, I, I don't even care if you make fucking songs about me. That, that's, that's not the, that's not the point. I want your kids to, to, to be, to get the help that they need. They can't do that when daddy has a drinking problem. When daddy can't can't be around because he's at fucking metal shows. When daddy has no money because he, he spent it all, you know, giving dead men fucking metal shows. When when daddy can't have a, uh, doesn't have enough money because he's too busy down at the at the recording studio. And those recording studios aren't cheap. Whatsoever, but I will tell you what is cheap. If you want to record music, okay, I, 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 this is, this is from me to you, okay. I, this is, this is, this is a little fucking secret from me to you. The, 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 the public library downtown has a free recording studio, okay. To try, just give it a try, okay. I will say that. You, you should, you should give it a try. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. You get like an hour. You get like an hour or something a day to record your, your stupid fucking songs. And whatever. It is what it is. That's what you should be using. You should you should not be paying fucking Watchmen Studios for for to, to make music. You can't afford it. Okay, you have no job. You have to beg online for 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 money for Christmas. You have to beg online for you know the, for hospital bills be paid. And, I, and, you know, I'm one to talk, you know, I don't have that much money, but you also don't see me going to fucking uh, recording studios and, and recording music. I go to the fucking library or something. I record them at home. I don't do this shit where I, where, where, 
where I go in the record, or I pay a recording studio to record my bullshit. Okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It has to be said. It ha something has to be done. I I hope your kids are, are get the help that they need. I don't think they'll. I don't think they're able to get the help that they need with you around. I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry to fucking say that. And I will. I will say one thing. I will give credit that you know. Fuck it. I'm not giving you any fucking credit. And I, I will say I am sorry for what I said back then. Get over it, though. Get over it. It's been six, six fucking, six, seven years. I don't even know how long. It's been that long. I can't even remember how long it's been, really. It's about time that you move on, really. It's, it's real. It really is. G Jesus wouldn't approve of this. You're a Christian. Jesus wouldn't approve of this. And don't give me that shit. Oh, I'm not a Christian. Well, shit. If you're not a Christian, then 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 get rid of all the all the all the religious shit on your GoFundMe. That's. I think that's another tactic that that you use. Because everybody that I talk to says, "Oh, he's not religious." Oh well, he sure uses a lot of religion. On his fucking GoFundMe page, so I mean, he's using he's he, now he's using fucking Jesus and all that for for money. It's like saying it's like me going around and saying, oh yeah, you want to donate to a, a fucking fellow Christian in need, and I'm like a fucking atheist or something. It, you know, it's fucking shady. It's fucking bullshit. Don't fucking do it. Don't, you know, don't fucking do it. Oh, God. I'm, I'm fucking done. This, this, you know, this is not, I, I, I am not, this is not harassment. I'm, I'm just calling you out on, on this shit. I can't do it. There's no threats here. I'm not threatening. I don't threaten. I know you know what happened when I got arrested. I'm not doing it again. I'm not fucking doing it. So. I know. Because I know you're, you're friends with the person. I'm not, I'm not fucking saying. I, I'm not threatening. I just don't like it. I don't like the fact that you're using GoFundMe money and possibly make a wish foundation for your selfish wants.